hey what's going on everyone this is March 40 7 40 in the morning today I want to talk about why most people don't become wealthy or in other words you can say why don't they become rich there are five reasons that preventing from most people to become rich everyone has the potential to become rich if they have the discipline but these five reasons hold them back the first one is it never occurs to them because if you have a surrounding all of them are poor if your parents friends are poor your friends are poor and your surrounding is poor you never even think about becoming rich because your surrounding is poor and you are and birds birds of the feather flocks together there's a problem like that that means like you are who you hang around with so uh, you can you can tell about yourself by five people around you all the time so it never occurs to them because their surrounding is not good their environment is not good their friend is not good their parents friends is not good so it never occurs to them that's first thing the second thing is they don't decide unless you decide uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna serve money you're gonna make money or you're gonna have this financial goal to achieve unless you decide it's not never gonna happen to you because uh, everything in my life by personal experience as long as I don't decide, like I have the, I have the desire to lose weight, I had the desire to look good, uh, become fit and stuff. But until I decide, it never occurred to me because when I decide and write it down, this is my goal and I'm gonna achieve by the end of the year. And I started tracking progress. I started uh, how much I'm losing weight, and all those kind of things occur automatically once you decide. Once you write down the goal this much power this is the pounds i'm gonna weigh by the end of this year everything occurs to me by nature like everything seems to support me once i decide and write it down so if you don't write it down and if you don't decide it's gonna be just blank like most of the time you're gonna not even know whether you're pro making progress or not so you have to decide in order to achieve the financial goals the third thing is procrastination there's always good reason to Put it back you know uh, like sometimes you don't feel good sometimes you feel lazy sometimes you don't even know what to do so there's always something that keep you preventing from doing the th thing you can um, you can do right now the best thing I know is to avoid procrastination is schedule your week like I started scheduling day and stuff most of the time it doesn't work but if you schedule a week and decide okay this much hours I'm gonna spend in this kind of activity it actually changed my life like uh, even though I missed now I can later do it by putting the time like this is the amount of time I'm gonna spend on this so that kind of stuff works but uh, I don't know what works for you but it's always good to have some time management book going on like you have to read a lot of time management books if you have procrastination habit procrastination or laziness habits you can have a time management books uh, like uh, you can read one book per week it only cost one hour per day to read a book in a week so if you spend that amount of time like seven hours in a week to read a book about time management it can change your life that's the third thing basically like procrastination and the fourth thing is they don't delay gratification like once the check comes out even I had that uh, in turn, like uh, once the checks come out, you somehow spend it all, you know, you somehow spend it all. I even had thought, like I even read the book, uh, Richest Man in Babylon and all those kind of book. It all requires you to serve at least 10% of your income. But I decide, then something tells me in my mind, okay, if I serve the money goes, uh, you know, uh, the money will decrease in value by, uh, every year so why do we even bother saving you can put the money into work and make it even more better so something like that always prevent him from stop saving because i i always think okay i can flip phone and make money i can do something else to make money with the money but it's always good strategy to serve something money and never charge it because uh, you can even invest like you have to have certain percentage of the money like 10 percentage is good 20 percentage is even better certain of the percentage of the money you never touch because even if you are having business and you you make uh, money with the money you have the chance to lose it all you know you can lose business you can uh, you know the business go may go down anytime 
uh, the thing you decide to never work sometime so that you never know when it's gonna happen but if you keep a habit of serving the money and only to invest like even after like let's say you're serving a certain amount of money after it it reaches like 10,000 or like 15,000 or certain amount of money you can invest in something else for lifelong you have to have the certain percentage of the money that you never spend in a lifetime like you have to have that kind of goal so that will actually help you a lot so that one uh, needs some delaying gratification like you shouldn't buy the things that like most of the impress other people you know buy dress buy cars uh, buy the things to impress other people that's uh, like basically preventing you from becoming rich so that kind of habits you have to avoid and uh, the last one is the fifth thing is long time perspective you know the serving money uh, investing and all those kind of things requires patience you have to wait for a long like you have to have at least 10 years to have some impact on the uh, money you serve so you have to have the patience to see that if you don't have the patience then it's not gonna happen to you even in your career decisions like um, if you see the medical professionals they, it takes them 10 years in Canada or US to become a medical professional uh, they have that kind of patience but once they become that once they become that um, they can uh, earn a lot of money with the medical degree they earned and even business they had to stick long enough to see that and also in the investment wise like stock and bond they had to see through like uh, even when uh, when sometimes the stocks fall down so if you don't sell it that time and if you keep it on for a long time it's going to be we can become successful and you're going to be like amazed by the results you're going to get because you had the patience to wait long enough to see the results that's the long time perspective so you had to have the long time perspective at least you have to give it 10 years to see some effect on the things you are doing so that's long time perspective 10 20 years um, that's it i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching see you guys on my next video